Well, this is where we stopped off for lunch. And we've just had a lovely walk along the beach. Lots of fresh air as well. Come to our new park up for the we night, haven't we? And we're wild camping. We are wild camping. We're pretty How wild. Exciting. <laughs> and uh, just behind us there is Desmond's Donders. Yeah, David and so Lindsay. So we're with the experts. They know the best places to wild camp in Scotland. Yeah. So that's really great. It's given us some more tips because we're we'll do more some tips. more wild camping. I'll be in a few days. Anything about the tips, but we. Um, and where to get the LPG? Yeah, David said this is his second favourite spot. So, um, and where are we? And we're at Cullum Beach. Cullum Beach on the north coast. And the sea is north facing. I'm going to look out for the aurora later. Yeah. If it, if it comes. I'll put a little map on the screen now so Clip you can see where we are. To, you know how to set up the camera now, don't you, to look for the aurora? Well, oh. you did it in Norway. I hope you remember. Oh yeah, I have to look at <laughs> my notebook. So I've got my warm stuff out. So shall Getting we show, ready. show them where we are? Yep. All right. So here's Smurf, look, and uh, over here is Desmond. And we're facing the sea. Well, we've parked in um, backwards because our lounge is at the back of the van. And uh, so we've got a cracking view. Lovely. And there's no breeze as a really so. It reminds me of Staffan Beach. Yeah, there's another van down there, and a couple of vans down there now. Eh? Yeah, there's quite uh, a few motorhomes along here, it's obviously a popular spot. And what's it now, it's six o'clock in the evening, so we're starting to lose chips. the daylight a bit. Later on, aren't we? And Lindsay's going to bring it, isn't she? Fish and chips for us.
we're climbing a hill and we're probably halfway up. It's looking beautiful up here. And Lindsay from Desmond's Donders is leading the way. She's shown us a path that she's regularly walked along with some great views. So let's go and see where we end up. Well, we've come to the top of the hill, as they say, and we're at uh, Nelson's viewpoint, which is just about two miles from Cullen Beach. And we've walked along the coastal path and round the corner and up again, and here we are with a spectacular view. Um, there is a little stone here with a map which points out what's what. So I'll do a sweep and let you have a look at what I'm seeing. It really is beautiful. And the wind is just a tiny breeze. How about that? I can keep my hat on. Yeah, so Nelson's seat. Yeah. And Cullen Beach is in the far distance in this shot here. And all of a sudden, we're above the van. Done a little loop, haven't we? Well, I do hope you get the feel of size here. I mean, it's just it's just beautiful looking across the the beach here at Cullen and a uh, nice calm day and it's really just beautiful. I'm going to apologise for all the shots but how could you not enjoy them? This, this is the thing. Uh, there's the viaduct. walk down to off the hill here down into Cullen Beach and there's a little bridge that takes us across to a car park and then the, the beach is just the other side we're gonna walk through there in just a moment well we're gonna have coffee and cake What have you got there then, Sue? Um, a mouthful of biscuits. Maltese shortbread. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I think that's what it is, yeah. Maltese shortbread with um, Maltese on the top. And an Americano coffee. with milk. Mm -hmm. mm. And I went for the um, green tea. Quite a dark one, that one. And the same. And Lindsay over here has got a black tea. And Dead Fly Cemetery. I know what? Dead fly cemetery. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's yeah. What, that's what the Scottish Which is call fruit it. cake. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a fruit slice, but that's right. what the Scottish call it. It's dead fly cemetery. Mm. Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> so we're down on the beach now at Cullen. Well, we are spotting dolphins. The girls have got a little bit excited. I'm not sure whether we'll get them on camera because they're quite a way out. But uh, out there are some uh, some dolphins hopping down, up and down.
well we've walked almost the length of the beach now and uh, we're going to climb this little piece of land in front of me and walk along the top of that for another view see what's the other side along the coast So now we're above the golf course on the other side of the bay and we're climbing the hill. We have to walk along that side of the little valley and around along to this side and then you get a lovely view like this. There's a combine you might be able to hear on the hill there and uh, over in the hotel in the distance there there's a wedding going on we see flash photography and and we can hear bagpipes uh, girls are just walking down the hill Well, we've come along that long cutting, uh, the railway, the disused railway line, and uh, coming to a bridge now, and, and just over here we can see the viaduct as well, and we're going to be walking along the top. You can hear the road behind these bushes now, and still Cullen Town and the harbour in the distance to my left. I found this rather interesting signpost. Uh, National Cycle Network post, uh, signpost showing uh, Port Noki. There's a mile and three quarters to the left, which we've just come from, and Cullen Town Centre is a half a mile this direction. That's where we're heading. And look at that. Isn't that great? I'll do the half mile to the town and then half mile further to the van.